Yeah. Are you going to ask me or you yeah. want me to? Okay. Uh, my name is Juan Dominguez, J U A N D O M I N G U E Z. And what industry did you work in? I work in the oil industry and I've uh, been doing it for 29 years. Oh, wow. And uh, and you were at your company for how long? In the, uh, my company, I've been working on and off with them for the last 20, uh, 10 years. And you have been in this industry for a total of 29 years. 29 years, exactly. What type of position did you hold? Uh, I'm an inspector. Okay. And um, you had a random drug test when? That is correct. Uh, back on April 9th, I, I had a, a random, which was uh, the third test on that project, and um, apparently came back positive um, for cocaine. That's what they told me. Um, I was trying to follow the procedure with them, you know, and which I did. Uh, after several calls, several weeks, I never had an answer from, from them. Apparently their system was down, and all these weeks I've been without a job. Uh, most companies, they go through DISA, so being inactive uh, is becoming an issue, you know. Uh, I believe there's a lot of people out there, you know, in the same situation. Yeah, what were your thoughts when your uh, drug test came back positive? Excuse me? What were your thoughts when, when your drug test came back positive? Well, my first thought it was uh, there was a mistake. They probably they were, uh, they got mixed up, you know. Uh, paperwork or something because it was something that I, I never been worried about it since because I, you don't do drugs I don't do drugs I'm under uh, blood pressure treatment for the last almost eight years so there is no record of me using drugs or anything like that I didn't use drugs at all and so you tried to tell uh, your company or how well, did, what your next what step what uh, the policy is from the company is once once you come back positive uh, Pretty much, you terminated, and you you are your own with against DISA, trying to fix this, which is that's what I've been trying to do. Um, I did I did have a test that I did on on my end, since they never answered for weeks. Um, it was the same five panel test, a hair follicle test. It came back negative. I have it with me right now, and. Uh, the thing is, this guy uh, doesn't take this as a, as a proof. Once they got you, it's, it's, it's their word only. They're the only ones to dictate the results, so which is really unfair, you know. So you took an independent test, a hair follicle test, and all of the results came back negative? That is correct. That is correct. And this uh, has another two tests that I did prior there, that test false positive, I believe. Uh, they came back negative. This one goes back covering that time. So, what's the explanation on that? And I can do another one if they want right now. And in the 29 years that you've worked in this industry, you're used to, you always have random drug tests, is that, that right? That is correct, yes. And this is the first time it's ever come back positive? Yes, it was the first time. When were you terminated? I was terminated back in, uh, I think it was April 19th. Of this year? Of this year, yes. And how has that changed your life? Well, first of all, it is really embarrassing, you know, to walk out of your office. Because, supposedly, you use drugs. Then you got to go back home and explain your wife and kids why you got fired. It's not fair. I have a proof right here saying all the ways. So, what's so sad, Dominic, is... He went on his own. They gave him three drug tests in a matter of four weeks. Two came back negative. All of a sudden the system goes down. Then they, came, they bring him back in and take another one. He comes back positive for cocaine. Then he decides on his own to go to an independent accredited drug agency testing facility that has a contract with the oil industry too. And look at this man's test. He took a half follicle test. The most full test that you can take, a half follicle test. And he came back completely negative. 
But the sad part about it is it's not just him. This happening to hundreds of these oil and gas employees who work in the field all across America. You can see the lawsuits being filed everywhere. When you look at the social media platform that was created to support these employees of these false positive drug tests, it's shameful that this man's entire livelihood of 29 years has been taken from him and thrown in the garbage can when he has complete proof of the most thorough drug test you can take. They have follicle test that says he had nothing in his system for the last 19 months. Zero drugs. Negative, 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 negative. Now this man's whole career has been thrown in the garbage can. And he's innocent. Brother, come here. Oh yeah. Marcus, say your name and spell it for me, please. Marcus Davis, M-A-R-C-U-S, D-A-V-I-S. Marcus, you can just stand up, especially with your hat on. Look down into the mic and you won't see your face. Um, Marcus, when did you test positive? It was on, uh, they contacted me on April the 2nd of uh, 2022. 2022. Yes. So you've been fighting this for a couple of years now? Yes, ma'am. And what happened? Yes, a federal lawsuit. Oh, wow. uh, I mean, they just told me that I tested positive for methamphetamine. You know, I argued with them, told them that they was incorrect. Uh, but this is something that's been going on with this company for years. It's a matter of, of record. I can't even unpack it in this small amount of time. If somebody just does a quick Google search, lawsuits against Decent Global Solutions, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The test that they're using has been scientifically proven to be racially biased. It's a matter of fact. Somebody can go look at BPD uh, versus psychometrics. Boston Police Department. They make this. It was a settlement just uh, made. But uh, this has happened to, to against this people. same against this same drug testing company that DC uses. Yes. It's that same exact company. That company has been settling negligent lawsuits for false positives in other parts of the country, and this is the same company that they are using. Wow. What company is that? Psychometrics. Psychometrics. Yes. But it's a, it, it, it's absolutely, I mean, I can't explain the immense amount of emotional distress that I'm going through. Like, this is really taking a toll on me. I can't exp I can't put it in the words what these people have done to me. Describe how it has affected you. I mean, to feel like that you've been, uh, you're voiceless. Like, this can be done to you because you're black. Or, uh, nobody's going to listen to you. We can just push you aside and nobody's going to listen to you. And that's what they're trying to do. And that's what they've been doing to people for years. And, um, like, I've been screaming from the rooftops about this. All over the country. I contacted Greg Abbott, uh, the current mayor of Houston, the previous mayor of Houston, uh, several people that sit on these different, uh, uh, you know, government uh, seats or whatever, but something needs to be done with this company. And what's even more shocking about his case, he was on probation in the state of Texas at the time of his employment. Okay? He passed every single drug test for the state of Texas probation department. He passed every half follicle test for the probation department. Passed any other type of test. Lie detectors had to give these clients and all of that. He passed every test they gave him for the half, for the probation department. At the same time, they're saying he tested positive for cocaine. Methamphetamine. 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 Uh, when was your test prior to the false positive with the probation department? Well, I had been taking random, regular random drug tests for a span of 15 months in the state of Texas. Okay. What industry did you work in? In the oil and gas industry. Same thing. Same thing. Visa controls, virtually controls the oil and gas industry as far as contractors that work in any of these chemical plants. They have to use diesel. And, and you have filed a federal lawsuit? Yes, ma'am. Describe what's going on there. I mean, I'm filing them for... Uh, well, you can't file, you can't sue them for negligence, so it's civil conspiracy, discrimination because of the, the half article drug test being discriminatory, and it's uh, seven or eight different causes of action. I don't have to go and look at it, but... And remember, this same drug testing company has settled lawsuits in different parts of the country admitting to false positives, admitting that there's a bias in the testing procedure involving African Americans and minorities, and yet DISA still continues to employ these people to do these random drug tests on employees, knowing that they've settled these cases across the country for negligence of false positives and racial bias in the testing process. 
we was we all took them proof from Harris County. I passed all of I passed all the drug tests. Everything they gave me, I've been passing this whole time. The same month you gave it to me, I took one for I took one for the probation department. Same month. Same month. Same month diesel testing was the same month that the probation department here in Texas tested him. He come back with flying clean colors with the state of Texas. But yet their company that they've hired that has already admitted to negligence to these false positive drug tests across the country is still given credibility. And this has happened to countless men and women across the country. And when you look at this, when you look at the lawsuits, just Google it, you see the lawsuits, then look at the social media page of the hundreds of employees. But here's the, here's the painful part. We learned that the white employees who have the same problems, once they produce proof of an additional drug test taken around the same exact time, if they came back negative, they were rehired. They were rehired. But the black and Hispanic employees were not given their jobs back. What do you think should happen from here? I believe that until the state of Texas has the same civil repercussions and lawsuits against this company, will they change in Texas? This same company has changed its practices in other parts of the country because the drug testing company has settled these lawsuits, admitting false positives, admitting racial bias. It's going to take the same exact thing to happen to this particular company in Texas for them to own up and accept responsibility to help make these men whole. Come back over here. 29 years, 29 years this man has provided for his family, 29 years taking care of his household. And all of a sudden, on the basis of a lie that you said this man had cocaine in his system, and he takes a test that's a half oliver test to show in 19 months nothing was in his system. And you just said a couple of months ago he had cocaine. Now he can't even provide for his family anymore. And he's giving you scientific proof. And you know you got a company that you've contracted with that has admitted to false positives and negligence across the country. And you won't give him his job back. That's a damn shame. How many households are being destroyed by this particular company with these false positive drug tests? Now, come on over. Get by them, get by them. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm This, this is just a sad, a whole sad situation all the way around. And so when me and Brother Cornell was discussing about this case, I did further research to kind of look through to try to see what is actually going on. And they are absolutely right. There's lawsuits that's going every which way but Sunday in regards to this company. So my question is, if you know that this is going on and y'all continuously want to use this company, as your drug testing company, then you're complicit with the foolishness as well. Because when I was looking at this, this is a, a lawsuit here that's with the Court of Appeals right now as we speak in regards to the same thing that they're doing here. So my question is, why not give these people their job back if they have scientific proof that, one, they don't use drugs? That's just like, I need to kind of look into this to see if they're dealing with CPS cases too. Because we may have kids that's removed from families illegally because of these false positives and these drug tests. But I think we may need to look at all of these drug tests and cops. What I think that we have to do, we have to focus on this particular drug testing company and see who all they contract with Yes. in the state of Texas. Because it's a can of worms that will be open. And many people like these gentlemen, many more than them, feel like there's no recourse, feel like there's nobody to help them. Yes. But we want to find out every particular agency, public and private, that contracts with this particular drug testing company and do the research and see how many employees at these particular companies have to get these false positive drug tests also. And then also, even like with those companies, to see if they are partnered with other drug testing companies right. that are in downtown Houston, right. who turns around that they may possibly use, right. or that they contract with, that they can possibly use for different cases. We may have families that are broken up for no reason at all. Just like these young men here. That's unacceptable. 29 years? 
at one job and for you to lose your job after 29 years over a lot. And then you have direct proof. Hair follicle testing, let me tell you something, ma'am. The hair follicle testing is 100% accurate because one, they got the zero tolerance hair follicle, which means they test not only the inside of the follicle, but also the outside of the follicle. Okay? Also, the hair follicle that's on the head goes back three months. But if you take the hair from the face, from the arms, pubic areas, or anywhere down there, it goes back to a year and some change. So again, if they got direct proof that it's not in their system, it was supposed to show up in that hair follicle. And it did. Let me ask you one more question. How emotional is this for you and how has this changed your life? I mean, I was already going through a tough time in my life, a rebuilding process. And for these people to come and do to me what they've been doing to countless others, it's just unacceptable. I mean, look at the number of uh, deaths by suicide in the United States last year. Now think of some of the social strains that can contribute to that number. Losing your job is a trigger to a lot of people that have committed suicide. And this company it does it without just they don't have no care at all for nobody. The powers that be, the people that run this company, they know that they are wrong. They know that their tests are wrong. They know that their practices are wrong. Why don't they just change it? Have some kind of moral compass and just do what's right. I mean, I got. if you look at all these cases and then you look at mine in particular, anybody can see that these people are wrong. I mean, just do what's right. I mean, people lives at stake. But I've also did other research, too, in regards to what the employees that work in here think. They do not even like working here. Oh, I've seen several uh, comments in regards to that. They said the issue is the leadership. They said the leadership in that building is the issue. You would think, you would think that a company, you can tell your story real quick, brother. You can tell your story. Stay in the center where you work, because that's where you work. You know where you work, where you start. Yeah. yeah. My name is uh, Andrew Castaneda, A-N-D-R-E-W, last name C-A-S-T-A-N-E-D-A. -A. I work in the uh, oil and gas industry. And what, what uh, like position did you have? Uh, so I held a supervisor role. You were a supervisor? For how long? Uh, for about 17 years. You worked in that industry for 17 years? Yes. And uh, when was your drug test? My drug test was August of last year. Uh, came back positive for synthetic marijuana, which uh, I was notified at that time, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it because I hadn't done no synthetic marijuana or any drugs at, at the time. So um, I've been in this industry since I turned 18. It's all I know what to do. I don't know anything else, you know, to this moment. So yeah, it was a big surprise to me, a huge shock. When, when I was notified that. Did you try to convince the company that you don't do drugs? Uh, yeah, I reached out to Disa to see uh, what could be done. Um, but they just kept on telling me that I was locked out, red flagged from the system, and had to wait, have to wait uh, a waiting period of three years. Um, I've contacted them multiple times just trying to see if there's anything that could be done, what I could do. And they keep telling you that they're going to red flag you and lock you out of the system for three years. Right. And not for three years that you have to come back, take another drug test, and then they'll consider putting you back in the system. Correct. That is correct. And so... At that, at this moment, I feel like I'm alone. You know, I don't. I have my hands tied. You know, nothing that I could do about it uh, until now. Finally, uh, the thing is I was able to talk they to have no and help, help me correction. and hundreds of others. We will not make any correction. This situation. Describe how this has changed and affected your life. So this has changed my life tremendously. Um, like I mentioned earlier, this is the only thing that I know what to work, you know, I've done it all my life, so to struggle finding a job right now um, has taken a toll on me mentally, emotionally, on my family, I have four children, um, to be able, to not be able to provide 
uh, due to this, it, it's, it's a feeling that's unexplainable, you know. Um, now I know what it is in a situation to be falsely accused of, how, how much it, it could really take a toll on a man's mental health and emotional health is it, it, uh, an ugly situation. Very, very hard. You have sleepless nights um, ever since then. Um, it affecting you on a daily basis, you know, knowing that you're struggling to, to find a job and, and provide for your family. It's, uh, it's something that I wish on nobody. You know, it, it's, it's a horrible feeling that that's very, very, very tough. Oh man, it is, it is very, very much, very, very much. So there's no words that I could ex that that I could explain in, in the film. And um, have you been able to keep your home? Yeah, uh, struggling. You know, uh, hard times. I know um, there's a lot of people with, in different situations and, and tougher times than these. Um, I still count my blessings and what I have right now. We've got to be grateful and, and you know, to live and, and be able to wake up and take a, 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 a deep breath, you know. But, yeah, it, it, it's uh, tough to be able to keep in what I do have right now. It, it's uh, tough, very, very tough. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because uh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle and I was trying to find a, a job. Uh, no, just uh, thank you guys for, for supporting myself and, and everybody else that's affected, you know, in these type of situations. And thank you very much. Hopefully, um, justice is served. What do you think should happen from here? Um, I think, you know, just on my personal opinion, um, I think one for all the people that are are fighting cases like myself should give them the opportunity to be able to return to work uh, and moving forward. Also, this company be looked into on all these uh, type of cases so that others in the future don't go through the mental stress, the emotional stress that, that we're going through. You know, something, you know, that justice could be served and, and fixed, you know, so no one could, well, no one go through what we're going through right now. So moving forward, I feel that that's what should be done. Yeah. All right, friends. It's your girl, Grizzy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign out, man. I see people have been affected in this way also in the comments. What do you think? Can you hear us? Let us know. Uh, have you tested uh, false positive? What was your experience? Some people have never, some of these guys have never done a drug in their life and, and they came back with that and it's affected them terribly, like their homes, losing a job, uh, missed opportunities for employment, very sad. And like Candace just mentioned, CPS, what about kids removed from people's custody for false positives? And it's just that, and you know, like work is everything, like that's how you may uh, provide for your families. I've experienced depression from not being able to find a job at one point or another. Work can be very sad and when you don't have it, it can lead to a lot of depression and, and su ultimately like suicide, mental health issues, friends. All right, man. Reporting live is your girl Grizzy out here off of Katy Freeway in Kirkwood. This is about in regards to dozens of hardworking people who have lost their jobs because of false positive drug tests by DISA Global Solutions. Reporting live. Back to you.